A few years ago, the kids at my school in Hong Kong gave me a nickname, but you can call me Clint, even though it's not my real name. At first, I thought I might be invisible, and then I became a chameleon. When I was 14, my family split up. I said goodbye to some friends. I ended up at a boarding school in Europe. I knew this was going to be an adventure. I became really good friends with a meditating pot-smoking shoplifter. He had some kind of big secret. My friend Sebastian had a big secret too, but it was one that we shared. That winter I celebrated Christmas for the first time in my life. I went to Denmark and met my grandmother. She was a real trip. I spent the summer of 78 with my dad and his girlfriend in Brazil. I learned to surf. Well, almost. I went to Paris for spring break and saw Queen. The band, not the person. I went to London with my roommate and almost saw the Sex Pistols. I spent the summer of 79 working on a road crew. I learned how to drive, but forgot to learn how to stop. I turned 16 and celebrated my birthday for the first time. I took a road trip to Milan with some friends and got to know a guy named Wolf. I had a small part in the play. I learned to ski. I looked into the eyes of a horse. I learned to play the piano. I went to New York. My friend got into Studio 54 and met Liza Minnelli and Andy Warhol. I, oh yeah, did I mention I fell in love? So now I'm here in this rental car, way up north, somewhere in the wilds of Canada. And I've got a big decision to make. 